audio optimized. Lights, camera. This isn't only gonna go on YouTube, this is gonna go big. I am Steven. And I am Kim. And we are Biohackers. We are founders of Biofeeder Industries, the uh, leading biohacking company and supplement uh, supplier in the biohacking world. You but heard of more us. importantly, we are husband and wife. We are. They're key pillars of biohacking theory that we need to cover. There are about seven eight. pillars. Eight. You're not counting. I'm not going to count that. To start off, pillar number one is nutrition. What you put in your body. Making sure you have the optimum vitamins, minerals, and um, calcium, potassium intake. How many of these did I take last night? Four. Check our tracker. Four. Check our tracker. Take one of these. You have to take several different supplements at different intervals. It's important that you do not put your buffalo oil before your immunity supplements. I need your help. I can't do it. And it's important that you do not put your canned juice protein before your potassium. There are important biological, scientific, chemistry reactions that go on between all of these different supplements. And that's the thing that most humans don't understand. They just pop, 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 pop it, pop it, and they don't understand that they are putting their bodies at risk. Can you taste the, you can taste it? My magnesium hydroxide is best as a powder, not a pill. Pillar number two, sleep. Now sleep, we all know, is very important. We depend on sleep to rebuild our bodies. Steven and I go to bed when the sun goes to bed and wake up when the sun wakes up. Good morning. Good morning. It's the way our bodies were meant to function. The government is telling us to sleep in. They're telling us to go to bed at 10, wake up at 7, Go to school. Go to the factory. Yeah, go to your 9 to 5 job. Go to your 9 to 5 factory job. I'm not going to be able to fall asleep without my melatonin. The sun is already asleep, Steven. Do you have any melatonin? Fair Steven. Okay, I'll leave you alone. We also make sure to always wear our Biofeeder Original Blue Blockers. Now, Blue Blockers protect us from... Blue light. Which is phototoxic. The sun's very, very awake. The sun's trying to tell you to be very, very awake, but it's also trying to tell you to protect your eyes from its phototoxic rays. Oh my god, how much blue light did you get? Go sit in a dark room for three to four hours. Don't, don't show the kids that. Pillar number three is thermoregulation. Thermoregulation is the very important act of maintaining your body at an optimum degree point. 71. 71. We are told by modern medicine that our bodies are supposed to exist at approximately 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. I am on fire thinking about that temperature. I am burning with rage. In fact, it is the, it is optimum, the optimum 71, 71 degrees. degrees. How many degrees? 71. How many degrees? Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit? Celsius, we, that would be really hot. How do you thermoregulate? Stick your face in the freezer for five minutes? Or take a cold, cold shower. And it may seem counterintuitive. We want to drop our body temperatures so we put on more layers. No. In fact, this is how you drop your body temperature. I can't do it. They're very good for getting your body to at least 73. You're going to have to do a lot more to get it to 71. A lot more. We're in this together. Forever. Forever. Live forever. The fourth pillar is exercise. Exercise is the act of putting your body to work to keep your body from dying. We want to be as fully functional as humanly possible. So we stretch at least 18 to 45 times a day and in those stretches we also incorporate intense cardio and strength training. We will show you a few examples of the types of exercises we do to ensure our bodies stay hecked. It's loosening up the ligaments and it loosens up the joints. And up. And up. This is for optimized knees and skin. You're at 85. It's not enough. I need you up to 150. I can't. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Steve. Ugh. The fifth pillar 
and one of the most important is compassion. Potassium. Why else would I eat eight raw bananas with every meal? We need to push compassion before almost everything else. Our investors don't care about compassion. It's like we're turning into a capitalist. You are making so much money on these potassium cells. Pillar number six is environment. The world we live in is harsh, filled with phototoxins, filled with ultraviolet rays. Every time you leave your place of living, you are putting your body into a war zone. Your environment is not only the outside world, but also the world within your closed doors. For us, it's really important that everything in our environment is sterile as possible. We use saran wrap and various uh, methods of constantly cleansing. I think an average cleaner, an average unhacked majority, they would wipe the dust off of their television and screen. And think that's and enough. That's enough. No, open up the inside. We don't even have a television. Pillar number seven. Genetic optimization. Splicing and dicing your own DNA. Kim has a defective right kidney. And Steven has erectile dysfunction. That doesn't mean we can't change those things. It is important that we find ways to insert new DNA into our bodies so that people and our environment cannot hurt us the way other people are hurt. We're planning on splicing and dicing our child's DNA as well to make sure that he can be as optimized as we are. We will splice and dice it before I am even inseminated. Forever? How long are we going to live? How long are we going to live? Biofeeder on one, two, three. Thank you again, biohackers and those who wish to hack, for joining us on our journey toward eternal life.